Computing is not about computers anymore. It is about living. Social computing is an area of computer science that is concerned with the intersection of social behavior and computational systems. It is based on creating or recreating social conventions and social contexts using software and technology. Thus, blogs, email, instant messaging, social network services, wikis, social bookmarking and other instances of what is often called social software, illustrates ideas from social computing. Social software can be any computational system that supports social interactions among groups of people. It can be categorized according to people's activities, such as creating, connecting, learning, organizing content, and collaborating. People can share their opinion and their thoughts, express their feelings, and enhance their creativity by creating content using apps such as Blogger, YouTube, etc. People can connect with each other by playing multiplayer online games, using social media and dating apps, or even websites that aim to a specific group of people. For example, academia.edu refers to academics and researchers, Anobii to readers, and Cafe Mom covers everything mothers care about. People can learn utilizing electronic technologies to access educational curriculum outside of a traditional classroom. Also, they can use software to satisfy the needs of an organization. People can organize their content and find reviews related to movies, books, and other media using media cataloging websites. People can collaborate to create, edit and share information, source code, etc. Social computing could be both enriching and challenging for those who utilize these technologies. Social computing provides new ways of managing companies. It gives to employees more flexible methods to cooperate through contributing and providing feedback. There are new ways of searching, managing, and effectively utilizing the information by integrating enterprise systems. Markets will eventually be able to understand how the participation pyramid works. Some members of the pyramid create and share media and communicate with others within or outside the community through posts, comments, etc. Entrepreneurial use of social computing can be done to improve and develop practices and products and services. Thus market-based economy shifts to digital economy where value creation is central. Social software promotes actions such as sharing, buying, and selling which in turn gives rise to a social or business outcome, such as cost reduction, revenue and in profit increase. Due to social computing opportunities, there is a significant rise in content creation and use. Many of the opportunities of digital world, expect creation of personal profiles and uploading personal information, that could be accessed by other users, not always in a correct way. Social computing threats can be divided in two categories. We will provide a detailed description of the three most popular classic threats. Malicious software or malware are used to access private users' data, which are easy to access due to the nature of communication between users. Phishing threats, where the intruder sends a malicious link or an attachment file by email, in order to get personal information, such as login and banking information. SQL injection attacks allow attackers to have unchecked access to database applications that may contain sensitive information. Except from the classic threats, modern threats are created as years pass. The most important are Cyber stalking is a crime where the attackers harass or threaten users by using social networking sites, instant messaging apps, email, or any others. Location privacy leakage encourage online social media users to share their location on online social networking, which makes it easier for attackers to track them. The anonymization attack is the action of matching anonymous data with publicly available information or data in order to identify the individual or group whose data belongs to. Corporate social networks and social media are perfect entry points for these threats, and thus it makes social computing security and privacy important. Dog 
is an esoteric programming language, meaning that it tests the boundaries of computer programming, created by Jeremy Rudin. Its commands are similar with those you would give to a dog. Also, Dog enables users to create social applications easily. A key feature of Dog is a built-in support for interacting with people. Dog provides a natural framework in which both people and computers can return results when requests are sent to them. Wildflower Montessori Schools is a pilot network of learning centers. Its purpose is to be a new learning environment for young children that aims at developing natural interests and activities rather than using formal teaching methods. Specifically, it's using sensors to track kids' movement, with what material they are working with, and for how long, and their interactions with others. That data is being analyzed, in order to improve the educational system. Nowadays, there are more human-like algorithms and increased personalization. We expect, that in the future social computing options, according to communication and interactions, will expand to virtual world. Imagine lying on your couch, and in the same time virtually trying things using your lifelike avatar, such as, shopping at an e-commerce store with your friends. For better or worse, the world, will feel like it's right around the corner.